Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the uh, the second edition of Take It Higher. It's from Burley Games. Uh, Peter Burley uh, is co-designer on this one with Reiner Knizia, whose games I really love. And actually Peter Burley's games I love because this is kind of a brother-sister game to uh, Take It to the Limit, on which you laid down uh, hexagonal tiles uh, to create lines, uh, runs of lines and get points. And on this one, you are using octagonal tiles. I have no idea how that's going to work. Obviously, you can have little squares in the middle, but you piece them together and you're trying to launch your rocket ships. It's a game for one to six players. And uh, to open up, see what comes in, comes in the box. I played Take It to the Limit on uh, iOS. It was very enjoyable. So you can download that if you want. I haven't seen Take It Higher. Um, but take it higher is it's a pretty heavy box. I mean for its size. It says it plays in 25 minutes, good for eight and up. Which is good, because I act like an eight-year-old sometimes. So let's open it up, see what's inside. Like I said, it feels very heavy, so I'm trusting the components are gonna be really nice. This is by Burley Games. Nice, uh, nice finish on the box. All right. Oh, I have to make a tray for it. It's got one built in. Let's see. We've got the German rules, and unfortunately, the English rules of the game. Very thin booklet. Feels like it's maybe eight pages. Full color. Preparation. Advanced methods of play. Simple spaceships. Bonus game. Very interesting. So there's your rules on how to play. Now we say you score the number of gold, silvers, reds, blues, etc. color lines you get. Uh, so it looks like uh, it's going to be multiplayer solitaire, uh, so, which makes it easy to play, obviously, for one player. So what makes the bulk of this game? Let's see. There are player boards. There are six. Now, in uh, Take It to the Limit, there was a harder board on the opposite side, and there is not here, so you pick a color. Um, the six, they're all identical. Pretty, pretty decent cardstock. Uh, not cardstock, um, chipboard. A little thinner, but don't seem like they're gonna curl too badly. Score pad, which you'll immediately run out of. So hopefully there's a score app or something, or a uh, just gonna end up using pieces of paper. All right, what do we got in here? Because we've got some. Oh no, there's some loose ones here, but they just fell out of their punch. All right, so we've got our counters. Wow, that'll busy back there. You're never gonna, you're never gonna get those confused uh, or marked. <laughs> <laughs> Burly games across the back. They seem to punch pretty easily. I don't know if the squares are important. Um, I guess they're not because the squares are here. So hopefully you won't have to keep those too. So it looks like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirty-two tiles per player. They may are falling out very easily. Which is good, but it mean, may mean you end up with some loose tiles when you get the game. So here are the ones uh, here that were falling out already. Good quality. These are those, you know, uh, the uh, they look to be about the same thickness as the player mats, but uh, the flimsiness is just over the span. So when you punch the counter. It's hard enough to flick. Good quality. Nice sturdy quality. So what do we got here? Oh, all right. So we've got a nice tray in which the count, it's a molded tray. So it's made to fit the shape of the octagons very nicely. So you can put your six colors across the, uh, across the uh, tray, make a little rainbow. There you go, there you go. The scores can go away. And then we have some 
Looks like rubber washers are hard. So I don't know what those are for. A little bag of six of those. They obviously have something to do with something. And of course, when you read the rules, you'll find out. And then you got these little rocket ships that you're going to use. It's like they're in each player color plus gold and silver. And these are actually really cool. I like these. I think there were a lot of games those would be cool for. You got colored ones, and then you got nice shiny gold and silver ones. So there you have. Have you been looking? Or didn't know about it. I didn't even know this game existed. I like Take It to the Limit. And, you know, so the genius that made that one and the genius who made so many other games, right? Canizia and Peter Burley. This one's looking like it's going to be a pretty fun game to play. So I'll, uh, I'll have a review up later. But I just wanted for right now to show you what was inside. Thanks a lot.